Hello and welcome. My name is Nathaniel Demse. I'm a PhD uh, candidate in environmental engineering at Swedish University of Agricultural Science. Our research group is among a handful uh, in the world that's working with source separation, uh, an approach that we believe can disrupt how we treat and manage wastewater. In this presentation, I will share to you our experience and what we have learned till now. We are accustomed to hear that we are what we eat, and we have a saying that what we eat is what we excrete. Even if human urine makes up just 1% of the wastewater produced in our homes, it contains majority of the nitrogen, the phosphorus, and the potassium. But, but also, uh, urine contains water, which consists 90% 96%. So in our research, we focus on developing technologies that can capture urine nutrients without the water. But recycling uh, urine nutrients requires a number of steps from collection to fertilizer production to uh, final consumer product. I'm going to uh, walk you through each of these steps, focusing on what we have already learned and where uh, the knowledge gap exists. So the first step is uh, in source separation step is to collect urine separately from the rest of the wastewater. And this can be done using urinals and urine diverting toilets. There are a number of choices available in the market, uh, which cater to both high income and low income markets. Uh, going forward, the challenge will be to reduce uh, the volume of flush water that ends up in the urine collection tank. Uh, for example, in the Lafon toilet, uh, which you will see on the right hand side, around 200 ml of water per flush is collected along with uh, the separated urine. So after collection, the next step is stabilization. Uh, to preserve the nutrients, especially nitrogen, uh, urine must be stabilized as soon as it's collected. Otherwise, uh, urease enzyme along uh, the wastewater pipes breaks down urea into ammonia, uh, which can be lost from the system in the form of uh, ammonia gas, thus reducing uh, the nitrogen content. Uh, urine can be stabilized in two ways, uh, alkaline stabilization and stabilization, uh, acid stabilization methods. And in these methods, uh, the pH will be kept above pH 10 and below uh, pH 3, where uh, urease enzyme is uh, inactive and loss of ammonia is uh, prevented. Uh, alkaline separation can be done using uh, alkali hydroxide like potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. But since these uh, hydroxides are completely soluble in urine, an active dosing system is required to add them uh, at the toilet. And active dosing system is uh, systematically challenging uh, to, to implement it uh, uh, at uh, toilet scale. On the other hand, stabilization using alkaline earth hydroxide is uh, more feasible as these hydroxides are sparingly soluble in urine. Therefore, uh, they can be dosed uh, uh, passively. The, the advantage of uh, using magnesium hydroxide over uh, calcium hydroxide is that it favors formation of struvites, which captures the free ammonia nitrogen initially present in the urine. And the, advantage, the disadvantage of uh, alkaline stabilization is that during storage of uh, alkalized urine, carbon dioxide present in the air is absorbed, uh, which lowers the pH of the system and which in return reactivates the urease. Uh, on the other hand, urine can be uh, stabilized using uh, acids uh, like organic acids, like citric acid and inorganic acids like sulfuric acid. The advantage of uh, dosing organic acids is that they are naturally present in food and uh, in our urine. And they, can, uh, they, they are also uh, can be bought uh, very easily at uh, grocery stores. And uh, even if uh, far less acid dosing is required with sulfuric acid, we recommend its use uh, only in centralized urine recycling systems where the systems uh, can be more effectively and safely monitored. Uh, going forward, uh, the challenge is uh, to develop reactors that can safely dose these chemicals at the toilet, as well as uh, create service chains that safely store and deliver them uh, to users. 
So after stabilization, the next step is uh, drying. And uh, after the urine is stabilized, it can be dehydrated uh, to remove water without uh, the loss of nutrients. And we have developed dryers that can be integrated below and beside household and public toilets. Uh, we are also working to develop uh, a mobile drying system that uh, that can work with toilet rental companies to cater uh, public events like uh, festivals. Uh, the challenge uh, with drying urine is to keep uh, the energy demand as low as possible, especially uh, when removing the last 10% of uh, the water. Uh, after drying, the next process is stabilization. So basically dehydration concentrates uh, nutrients in urine so that only small amount of solids needs to be collected. Uh, after collection, dried urine is pelletized so that it can be integrated with existing farming equipment for spreading of uh, the, the fertilizers. So pelletizing urine requires uh, blending agents like brown and straw, but the challenge here is to form right pellet size that can keep shape and fit uh, the farm equipment. Uh, depending on the choice of on the choice of stabilization, uh, the final product contains between 11 and 21% of the nitrogen, making it comparable uh, to blended mineral fertilizers which are available uh, in the market. So, uh, after pelletization, the next step is uh, to try the uh, uh, the manufacture product in the field trial. Uh, field application of dried urine uh, was tested in Gotland, coast of Sweden, where we produce uh, barley. And we found that 35% decrease in yield with no fertilizer compared to uh, mineral fertilizer. And there was no significant difference in yield uh, between uh, urine and uh, mineral fertilizer uh, mineral uh, mineral fertilizer fertilized barley uh, but uh, different crops have uh, different nutrient requirements so the challenge going forward is to identify other substrates that can be blended uh, with dried urine so that the final fertilizer composition matches the specific nutrient requirement of uh, other crops so after fertilize, uh, after field trial, the next step is uh, uh, to produce a product that we can consume. And since we get an amazing performance on the field trial, the next uh, step is to close the loop by bringing the product uh, into our table. And we have also partnered with manufacturing industries to further process the barley, uh, uh, which mulch it and then produce uh, a bit out of it. Earlier this year, uh, we had a beer testing workshop and most of the par participants found that the beer tastes like normal beer. And the challenge here is that uh, to scale up the whole service chain so that enough dried urine fertilizer is produced to meet the large fertilizer requirement of the agriculture as well as uh, the food processing industry. However, uh, people, has, uh, people have concerns in using products fertilized by urine. And one of the concerns is uh, the presence of pharmaceuticals in urine. So to reflect uh, on this concern, we have also developed an on-site treatment step using uh, UV-based advanced oxidation process that can be performed be uh, before the urine is dehydrated. So uh, in this study, we have looked at the degradation of 75 micropolitans, and we found that an average degradation of more than uh, 55%. Uh, to give you uh, some insights, some pharmaceuticals like atenolol, azithromycin, bisoprolol, and trimetoprim, uh, they didn't show any degradation, whereas environmentally relevant compounds like carbamazepine, amitriptyline, and ciprofloxacin showed average degradation. Uh, on the other hand, uh, diclofenac, sulfamethoxazole, and norfoloxetine showed more than 90% degradation. So uh, the way forward is to optimize this process so that all the pharmaceuticals can be degraded. So overall, 
Our research shows that every step necessary to recycle urine can be performed to create a radically new sanitation system. Uh, we have shown this in practice in Sweden, where we have uh, multiple pilot projects running. Uh, we think such a system can be and should be a serious contender in shaping, in shaping the wastewater treatment, uh, uh, the, the wastewater treatment, uh, treatment needs of growing cities uh, worldwide. Uh, I couldn't say everything over here, so thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any question, you can visit our blog or uh, you can contact me after. Thanks so much for your time. See you later on.